All right, can you guys hear us? Yes, we can hear you. All right, I'm gonna open up with a brief statement of coach and we'll take questions after that. Uh, appreciate you guys jumping on uh, with us. Um, obviously, uh, a really tough game against a really good good team. Uh, two two out of the four quarters. Um, you know, I thought we really competed, and and then that second and third just got away from us. I felt like in that second quarter, um, maybe the first quarter, we we're a little bit more methodical with our, with our offense. I, I liked our shot selection a little bit better. I felt like in the Second quarter, uh, we kind of got in a north and south game with them a little bit more and uh, maybe took some some rush shots at the rim. And, and they're so good with their shot blocking ability. Um, and, you know, I felt like I felt like that really hurt us and, and, and then got in foul trouble. And uh, they're really good on the offensive boards. And, and um, you know, that hurt us as well. So 29 points off off second shot opportunities is, is quite a bit. And, um, you know, we just we struggled in that area. Robin, uh, just just um, in the second and third quarter, where did you feel like the game kind of got away from you the, the most? Was it more so on the second chance point of things, or maybe on a little bit of the offensive end where you kind of mentioned the shot selection wasn't where you wanted? Yeah, I think I think both. Um, you know, it's just a golly. You know, you've got to have laser like focus, and 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 you can't let you can't let the games. Or, or the pressure of of what they do defensively and their length speed you up, and I. I, I'm anxious to go back and watch film, but I really did feel like, um, you know, we weren't as methodical in that first first quarter. In that first quarter, I felt like we got some good ball reversals, got some good movement before we got into our screen action. And uh, in that second quarter, I felt like we had some some tough takes around the rim. Um, and, you know, turnovers and, and tough shot selection or blocked shots at the rim create great opportunities for them to get out and go in transition. And uh, there's really no answer for that. Um, and so I think those are the areas that hurt us. And then defensively, like I said, the shot, second shot opportunities and um, what they end up with 30, 29 offensive uh, or 29 points off offensive rebounds. I felt like that really hurt us as well. Robin, in the past, we talked about, you know, getting off to a quick start. What did you like about how this team started? You know, how your team started tonight? It seems like they were, you know, hitting their shots and getting tough shots there. Yeah, I felt like that first quarter we played with really good pace and we knew that was going to be a key against uh, South Carolina. Um, you know, I didn't I didn't think. Uh, I don't know. We, we took what what we what. Um, the defense gave us and uh, I just felt like we really trusted the movement of the ball a little bit better uh, in that first quarter than we did uh, throughout really the majority of the game. And, um, you know, we knew that the last couple of games we'd been getting off to slower starts and, and, uh, you know, I just, uh, our girls knew that we had to come out uh, and, and uh, throw the first punch. And uh, we knew we had a tall task in front of us. And, and I thought they did. And, and I am very proud of the way they continued to battle. Even, um, you know, when we're down 30 in that fourth quarter, I felt like our, our players really continued to, to battle. And that's all you can ask from them at that point. And now we've got to go back. We've got to watch film. We've got to recalibrate. And we've got to make sure that we, we got better from this game. How good is it for you knowing that, you know, you, you have that time before you, before you guys host Tennessee to kind of evaluate things and look to see what you guys can improve? Yeah, I think it's really big. I think this is a, you know, a, a bye week. The timing of it is coming at a really good time. Um, we got to recalibrate, but uh, our locker room's good. Um, they're, in a, they're disappointed for sure. We all are. Um, you know, we nobody likes to lose in this program. Uh, we want to compete and we want to compete at a high level. Um, but I also think we've got the maturity in that locker room that we have to be able to uh, embrace the adversity and um, make sure that we're making um you know, appropriate changes to be better uh, the next time out, which will be Tennessee. So I, I just think that, um, you know, the timing of this bye week uh, couldn't come at a better time for us. We've had a tough little stretch and not that it gets any easier in the SEC. Tennessee's got a great program um, and anybody can beat anybody on any given night. And so we understand what we're up against, but we also understand the opportunities that are in front of us. And like I've said to you guys many a times, we're not going to get too high. We're not going to get too low. We're going to stay the course and trust the process. Robin, when you when you talk about trust in the process, especially this week, um, is there anything that you guys can do or anything you're hope, looking to do just to kind of 
it really kind of resettle after obviously our starting three, you know, is big for the program, but um, after playing three really talented teams being three and three in SEC play, what are the, some, some of the things you might look to do to kind of refocus and kind of recenter as so you can have a whole bye week just to kind of do exactly that. Yeah. We'll meet as a staff and, and, and talk about that. Um, you know, my focus has been on South Carolina and uh, you know, 20 minutes after the game, <laughs> my mind's not quite in that space yet. Um, but we definitely will. Like I said, I've told you guys this a lot. I love that locker room. Um, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're a gritty team. Um, they're, they've got great maturity. Um, you know, they've got big goals and they haven't changed. They haven't changed a bit. Um, and so I, I am very confident, uh, that they're in a good place mentally and, um, they'll be ready to go back to work. What did you like about the way Lauren attacked today? You know, it seems like she was really aggressive out there. You know, I thought, um, I thought she was pretty patient with some things in that first quarter. And then I thought there was some, some possessions where um, we didn't play with the kind of pace that we needed to, to be honest with you. Um, you know, she, she got to the, the free throw line uh, quite a bit more than she usually does and did a tremendous job knocking down shots. I think, you know, she's proven herself as a, as a young lady that can make tough shots. And so she, she, um, there's, there's a lot of attention on her. And so I think, you know, when you're chasing a kid off that three point line, but she's also got the ability to create, uh, off the bounce that it, it makes it a really hard guard. Um, I felt like for, for our entire team, there was times that that pace piece that you've got to play with 40 minutes with against a team like South Carolina that has great shot blockers at the rim. Uh, we missed some possessions here and there, but, um, she's definitely not afraid of the moment and wants the ball in her hands. And, and I love that. We'll take one or two more if you guys have them. Yeah, you know, Robin, when, when you mentioned, um, just kind of playing with pace and, and whatnot, how difficult is it to do that against a team like South Carolina, which, which has a lot of athleticism and which is frankly, some of the athleticism you've seen like the last three games. Yeah, well, I think it's really hard. I mean, that's probably why they only had two losses last year and uh, are undefeated so far this year. You know, they're just they're an elite level team that's got great size. Um, you know, they're rangy. They've got shot blocking ability around the rim, uh, but they also have the athleticism and, and the quickness. Um, you know, to really guard on that perimeter. I believe they're leading the the nation in uh, defensive field goal percentage. Is that correct? Uh, so we're not the only team they're doing it to. They're doing it to everyone. And um, they're as good as advertised. They got uh, size, they've got speed, they've got athleticism, they've got depth. And, um, you know, they got all Americans coming off the bench for them. So uh, it's not like when they sub out and, and make those rotations that there's any, any weak spots in that. Yeah. yeah and um, uh, this obviously being a, a really athletic team. Um, so our, have been Arkansas and LSU and I was just kind of curious what have you learned about how to maybe defend a team that that has athleticism may outmatch you in a category like that well I think it varies from you know game to game um you know I think with with South Carolina um you know you bring a six seven kid off the the bench um you know, you just got to, you got to battle and, you know, low man has got to get into him on the, on the rebounds and, and just try to battle to the best of your ability. You know, we tried to play them inside out and really muddy it up in that paint. Um, and although I thought we did a decent job of that, what hurt us was the offensive rebounding in the second and third shot attempts, you know, Arkansas is a completely different team, right? Mm -hmm. They shoot the three, they get out in transition. Um, and although they've got good size, they play a completely different style. And so, you know, that's the story of the SEC. You're going to face um, athletic players night in, night out, and you've just got a game plan and and um, try to put yourself or your your players in the best position possible to have success. All right. Does anybody have one more? All right. Thanks, guys.